uh, grieving friends and family of a Minnesota mom are demanding justice after her fiance shot and killed her. 35-year-old Lacey Kushel was shot in the back and killed while she was holding her five-month-old daughter Aspen. It happened at 2 in the morning on February 25th in rural Todd County. Tyler Slagerman told sheriff's deputies that he had been out drinking with friends that night. He says that he grabbed a rifle because he thought he heard dogs barking, but he says that the rifle accidentally fired, killing Lacey and narrowly missing Aspen. Slagerman was in court in Long Prairie today as May Murphy was there and she joins us right now. So uh, it sounds like the family's pretty upset about what, the way this is being handled. Absolutely, Amelia, they really are. Right now, Slagerman is facing an accidental manslaughter charge and a gross misdemeanor child endangerment charge. According to Lacey's family, he's also seeking custody of now eight-month-old Aspen. I have no us. comment at this okay. time. Okay, was it an accident, Tyler? It was an accident. All right. That's all we have You've to lied say to you. police before, though, Tyler. That's all we have to say, ma'am. That was Tyler Slagerman as he entered the Todd County Courthouse. More than 30 friends and family of Lacey Cushel were also in court wearing justice for Lacey buttons. She was shot in the back while she was holding her baby. And that's hard to live with. Lacey's mother broke down, describing her love for Aspen. Awesome, Mom. Friends and family say Tyler and Lacey's three-year relationship was strained. He killed the only witness. Lacey's father says Slagerman is an accomplished hunter. You have to have four things to do with that rifle before it will go off. Oh, I've owned oh. one forever. We all so, have. It's a very common rifle. So you don't buy this at all? I don't buy that at all. Slagerman has a misdemeanor record that includes giving an officer a false name and impersonating an officer. In 2007, he told Fridley police he was an undercover Maplewood cop. After court, Slagerman's attorney said this. No allegation anywhere this is anything but an accident. And there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Well, the family feels that it was not an accident. There's a thousand pages of police reports, and there's not one indication it's anything but an accident. That's all I'm going to say. Now, both Todd County Sheriff Don Asmus and County Attorney Charles Rasmussen told me that this case remains an open and active investigation, and they are awaiting results of ballistics analysis from the BCA. That's why today's hearing was actually continued for two months. Now, if convicted on the current charges, legal experts tell us Slagerman would probably end up facing about four to five years in prison. Uh, Slagerman's last criminal conviction was for gross misdemeanor financial card transaction fraud, and that was back in 2008. So the, the family is upset because they, that he's not being thrown into jail? It's, it's yes, they it. feel that these charges should be much more mm -hmm. serious, uh, that they do not feel this was an accidental manslaughter case. All right. Thank you, Esme.